G'day, G'day guys. guys. Brisbane Good Brothers here. Aussie. Aussie. And Dan's. Dan's. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get better Who's guys. Here? We're going to get that. We Almost. want to get it spot on. We're going to, we're going to get it perfect synchronization. What soon. we're doing today guys is how to fit a new brake master cylinder on an XF Ford. So it's going to be the same process guys for pretty much any brake master cylinder so this would be a good one to watch if you don't know how to bleed up the cylinder <laughs> we <laughs> listen funny sorry guys we were at a shop today a parts shop picking up the fluid and the guy said you don't have to even it's not even a process he goes you just fit it and bleed it by foot no guys this is how you actually do it we know we're going to show take the time to since show you guys. a guy working at the shop didn't know how to do it we, we thought, thought we'd yeah. quickly do it show you other people mustn't know either so we'll make, make sure you video. smash a like and subscribe we guys we'll rip in Cheers. All right, you want to grab the camera for me, bro? All right. All right. Still one take, bro. Let's come over here and we'll just show what we've done. Um, these, the, this is a really simple break, one-man brake bleeder kit. I've actually made this up out of two kits because the, we wanted to buy like an SP Tools or a Renegade or whatever that makes like this kit. There was actually none anywhere. We went to five or six local parts stores, so I'll show you how, what I did here. All right, guys, I'm going to show you our little hack. The kits are expensive and they're not always in stock everywhere so we buy two of these really cheap they're like eight bucks each guys the one man brake bleeder kit we don't actually need these bottles we're not going to dirty them today so they're going to stay brand new what we did use is this tapered prong here and we've cut a little bit of brake vacuum hose i ended up using brand new makai rubber 4.5 mil internal but i did originally use four mil silicon and it wasn't quite tight enough you really want to get an airtight seal on these fittings so I've pulled three of these prongs out one here one here one in the bottom here and I've pulled out the three short lengths of hose that come in the box like this and one of these two into one adapters so what I've done guys so it's all new and we're not contaminating a brand new master cylinder with anything old because I've got one of those that's old that I've used on a few cars I've rigged this little contraption up so the two side ports here to one in we've tucked them in the middle here they're at the lowest point so we're going to fill this up with some fluid and with an old push rod we're going to when it's full of fluid push the push rod in and as if the brake booster and pedal is being pressed we're going to actually get the fluid into these bottom sections where there's quite a bit of air that gets trapped in around here could you come around here and have a bit of a look at this if you don't do this set properly, you won't get a good brake pedal. A lot of guys don't realise, so this so it's is actually, quite important. It might look a bit complicated, guys. It's simply every exiting port it's just going back each, into the reservoir. Each hole's got one of them with a bit of brand new hose put, cut off the same length as that on the taper. Have a close look, guys. See this? And push in and done up in where See, they're, they're pretty tight, guys. But it's just like a it's interference fit. The rubber's causing the seal, so you want to make sure Bit of a safety measure wow, of a rag. Good to of the pros. This is really Australian, yeah, guys. <laughs> XF. Firstly, we're working on an XF. Well, really? actually, it's an XD with an XF master. There's a few of them out there, guys. All right. And the first Keep, thing, brakes, guys. Glasses. Very important. Something could go wrong here if one of these pops off. You don't want brake fluid going in your eye. So let's get started. Brand new fluid. Why did you choose the uh, new one? Uh, it's an Australian brand. I like to support Australian products if I can. Yulon's a pretty good, pretty good company. What colour's the fluid? This fluid should be completely clear. That'd be handy, guys. The reason you would choose a completely okay, clear let's fluid. Let's get this shot here. We'll really fill it up, guys. The, um, the cleanliness of the See system. how a bit of air bubbles came out of there straight away. See that, guys? You don't want to go too high on this level because we're going to be bleeding it. It'll be moving around and we're not putting the lid on. We're leaving the lid off, so I'll just tuck this aside for now. Get that foil out, put the lid back on the bottle so we don't spill it. Okay, put the rubbish aside. I like the clear fluid, so you can see if there's any specks in there, you can spot it straight away. So what I'll do gently now, guys, is I'll... I'm gonna just support this because this vice is new, I haven't actually mounted it, it's just G clamped onto the table. We don't want it to go moving anywhere and we'll just gently put put it up into here. Have a look guys, as soon as I start to push this push rod in. See that guys? Yep. Now what we wanna do is 
because you want to push this in all the way to the very end like that. Now it's getting a bit low so we'll top this back up. We want to keep going until we've got continuous solid oil here, no air bubbles. And then this brand new Breaker Master Cylinder for a Ford XF Falcon is going to be ready to fit. This is a $20 exercise in a shop. If you buy it from the right brake shop they can do it for you. A lot of guys don't even realise it can be done. Guys, these kits are like $8 each, Australian. They're like two, two or three bucks each in the States. Depends where you are. This is very specific, very similar to like a Falcon Mustang. It's getting quite hard to... Uh, it's getting it's firmer. Mustard, yep. Yes. Yeah, I was going to say it should be firming up, bro, as it gets solid. Yeah. We don't, uh, the reason I'm not going too fast, guys, is nothing's wired on, nothing's clamped on. They're not proper brake lines here. Alright, guys, so... Nice and slow. Look, there's actually more bubbles than we thought we were done coming out of the front and back. The lines are pretty good. Oh, a couple of tiny little bubbles. Oh, there we go. Look, a few there. We're going to be shaking with you guys just going for gold. Oh, yep, that's all the way in. Hold it, hold it. Is if it's so close, guys. It's really close. That's it, guys. It's up. See a little bit of red dice coming out. You could fit this. Now we're going to get. <laughs> now we're going to get no bubbles. Guys, we're doing a video how to do it, so we're going to make sure you could fit these good down, it It's all set up, guys. Solid, solid. Now, just as slow as possible. Full. And what you're just looking for any more bubbles, and just really slowly. Here. Yep, back one. All the way, kept all the way. Yep, get in. Yes, that's it, bro. That's the one. That's, that's the, the one. That's the ticket. Yep, that's the ticket, guys. Solid. Yep, it's in. Solid. Yep. Slowly let it out. Yep. Nothing's going back the other way, guys. This is it. That's it. It's bled. I can't believe you pulled that off with a homemade. Guys, just a couple of bits. <laughs> you. Awesome, guys. Nailed it. Fully bled up. There's not one bubble in there. The trick is you can't have any leakage there, and you got to go really slowly, full strokes. That's a little bit uncomfortable. The other cool thing is, guys, you won't make a mess in the car when you get these bled in the brake shop and you've got to get them home. Well, you could just it. imagine. Put two and two together. Guys. Oh, what? One random bubble oh, just that's popped it. That's out. what you want. Good a few taps. Listen, guys, we only made this video. We had a bit of a laugh. We were getting the um, fluid, and the guy that Brett was in selling the fluid, he goes, "Yep, sold us on the clear fluid, so you can spot contamination." And we said, "How do you bleed it? How do you bleed the cylinder?" He goes, "You just feed it and bleed it by footing the car like you're bleeding the brakes." No, no, no guys, no. See what was in there? Then you must bleed it on the bench. Through all these valves and everything here. Because there's, there's no an actual way. cylinder in the bottom, and you want to fully get all the air out of here, guys. So your life's on the line of brakes. If you if you're gonna be doing this yourself, guys, the bubble just pop back you out do there it the too. right way. We'll give it another bit we'll of a another, go soon. We'll give it another one, guys. So it's solid, guys, all connected. Now I'm just gonna go slow. Yep, a few little around. Perfect. This will be the last one, probably. Wait. Tiniest little bubbles came out there, bro. That's it. Oh wow. Yep, yep they're going we'll up. Slow going you up. back out. That's to be honest, as you might get it, guys, it without intermittently. In. Oh, that's good enough. That's to it. Feed. It's so going to suck air back in for so you eventually. Job. So that's, that's how you stuff. bleed the cylinder. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked it. Make sure you smash like and subscribe. We're going to have heaps more videos. All right, guys. So next thing, 11 mil flare nut spanner, or pipe wrench, they call them in some places. We want to we want to bust this one here, this one up the back, and this one underneath. So you put it on. They all, they should never be really that tight brake lines, guys. Oh, a bit of an issue with this. Okay, yeah, put that one. It's going to run to this one under here. Stick it up. Yep, beautiful. Alright, so we'll, we'll rip the lines right out. I'll undo the switch while I'm here. This is the brake warning switch. So there's a little clip there and a little clip on top. We want to undo both of them. Pull it off, like so. Alright guys, the next thing is these two nuts that hold the cylinder to the booster. They're a half inch, so we'll get in here. They're a little nut with a spring washer behind them. Put one here, the other one's over the back there at the bottom. Okay, one on the bottom here. So that's 
the old master out. Pretty sad looking. Pretty sad looking. Look at the shit in the bottom of the bed. <laughs> look at the shit in the bottom. And they just gave it to me, but what I'm going to do, because this looks a bit rusty, is give this a clean up and I'll put a bit of grease on here so it's nice and clean. And um, we'll rip in. How's the rubber washer looking in there? They'll see on the camera, but we can't really see in there. Pretty How good. does it look, guys? Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> this is it, boys. I'm doing the grease. I'm gonna put some grease. In is, that, here. is that normal grease or is it grease? Grease. 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 I'm gonna put some grease in here. Okay, I'm um, just getting the, the, loose, the loose crap out of there so nothing goes into the new master cylinder on the back. I'll clean this up. It's one of those things we can even never do, <laughs> ever. Yeah, just slap the gun straight in, guaranteed. In any shop would just slap that fucking straight in there. Okay, great, I can't really feel anything. It's great doing it yourself, guys, who actually put a bit of attention, make sure. And you know that's clean under there now, because we've done it. It does look like a bit of a sad booster, but it did work quite well, so... Okay. Only a lot of people ask why we kind of got into cars and that, because you don't really trust people to work in your cars when you get to a certain level and when you put a certain amount of dollars into it. You can see, guys, just a really, really thin film. Just a tiny bit on there, because it just looks a bit dry. We want it all to ride nicely on one another. We're already... So... It doesn't look like that, but what, something to look for guys is underneath the master to look whether it's been leaking between the master and the cylinder and the booster, that looks pretty good. Alright, if you want to follow me over to the carport, let's go and grab the new one. Let's get a close up now, come don't be sure. Yeah, we're following up to the carport. Oh, well, this is a real car guys, something that I muck around. <laughs> Bloody Falcons. Stuff like this mate just goes forever. Right? All right, back to it, yep. Okay, so what I'm gonna try and do... This is gonna make a little bit of a mess. Just out of the way a little bit for now. Get these down and out. That's gonna pretty much go there. Let's tangle that around there. Pretty much right on that stud. Now what I'll do first is this back fitting. I'll pull it out. Got this rag. And I'll just quickly, quickly get that in there started. I'm going to quickly swap around this one down under here, guys. So you will put that head up into there, get that in, straight in. Okay, and then the last one here. I'm going to have to move that around a bit. Chuck this half inch back on here. She's just gonna be good. Tack this back in place for now. Get this other one back on the bottom over here. There's obviously gonna be air in the lines here, guys, because it's been undone. And we're gonna have to re bleed the brakes, which we're gonna show now. So you don't want air to get back into the system between the pot here and the valve body and the cylinder. This is the most important area. So. Obviously, once you bleed it up and you undo your bleeding lines out of here, it's going to drop a little bit out of here. But if the air bubble is at the tip here of the hose, you can easily get it down to the caliper. If this thing is loaded full of air, guys, you'll spend two days in the car pumping it. You won't bleed it. That's why we're doing this video. So hopefully you've learned a few tips. Uh, give this a quick clean here with some brake cleaner. Get on the so we want it nice and clean, nice and clean in the fittings, and then we want to plug this brake warning switch back on here, like that. Okay, so we've got our warning switch 
back on. We've cleaned our lines so that if anything starts to leak that we'll notice it. Nice and dry. Nice and dry up the back for now. We're done with it. What we've got to do is go and jack up the car at the wheel that's the furthest away. These wheels are absolute. What have you been doing, bro? The skids, bro. The tread is like twisted. Alright, guys, so we've got a 10mm ring spanner on the bleeder nipple. If you haven't had the brake nipple cracked before, use a rubber mallet and just tap it gently so you don't round them off. They have a tendency of snapping off once they're loose like that, and you can get that much of a swing on them. See a little bit of fluid there on the end. Put a bit of wire on here so they don't pop off. <laughs> I put a bit of 4.5mm vacuum hose on the NT because this doesn't fit onto any of the normal size nipples. So that's set up. Now the reason you want to loop in here is so that when the air bubbles come out and go through here that they can't come back through the bottle. So I like a bit of a loop like that on the bottom. Righty. Just make sure that's actually stuck on. Don't want it to fall off when it's full of fluid. So there we go, 10mm ring spanner. Pretty straightforward, we'll go under the bonnet now, we'll just check that the fluids fall in the master. It's quite empty once again. Let's top this up. Right up, because we're going to be bleeding. Pretty much full like that. Drop the lead back on now. On. Now someone's going to get into the car and they're going to press the brake pedal down and hold it. Then someone else is going to be at the back. When the pedal's pressed down and held quite strong, they're going to open the nipple. Then the pedal's going to jump to the floor and it's going to get a bit of air and a bit of fluid out of the system. We're going to do that over and over and over again. When it jumps to the floor, I'm going to shut the nipple. We're slowly going to let the pedal back up. So I'll run you through that process again because the birds are quite loud. Someone's going to sit in the car and they're going to press the pedal down. At one point the pedal's going to stop because what's in the lines will compress. I'm going to open the nipple, it's going to come all the way down to the floor, then I'm going to shut the nipple, then we're going to let the brake pedal back up slowly. We're going to do it a few times till no air bubble comes out into the bleeder. Every three or four goes we're going to come back up and keep checking this. The most important thing at this stage is not to let it, this get low and for air to get back in. Otherwise all that work that we've done before is all over and you've got to start again. Alrighty, I might head down the back with the camera now and maybe you could do a bit of bumping. Now it's quite important to stay good with your communication so we know who's at what. I should grab my glasses too guys. Brake fluid. Safety glasses. Alright, so I'll put this here where we can see the bottle. Alright, is it, is it down? Pressing, yep, down? We'll open that up. Look at that mess that came out of there. So while he's, while he's holding it, I'll lock that back up guys. Yep, now let it go. Now, as he does the slow release back up with the pedal, the master cylinder is sucking the fluid and the fluid will drop and it's pushing all of the gunk back out of the lines down here. So is it down again now? Up, I'll press it down. Yep, press it down. Yep. It's down. We'll open this up guys. Like Holding that. It. Yep. Holding it at the bottom. Okay. Nipped up, yep, let it go. Stay good with your communication, don't get out of sync. Tell me when it's down next. Okay, up, we're gonna press it down slowly. Yep. Look that goes. Beautiful. Okay, so we'll nip that back up. Okay, let it come back up. Yep. I can't see any air bubbles here at all, bro. Well, see, it's only, it's only a little bit in there, but we'll... You got firm we'll we'll second pump. Come and have a look second quickly. The reservoir's full there. We'll bang the camera off, that's great. Tip, what you can do in between, guys, is you can, while it's all connected, you can do a few pumps in between just to help settle it yes yeah, the the guys nice and so there's no like race pressing it down fast now just we'll do slow, another one slow and controlled if you press it down too fast like an idiot you'll pop the hose off this end over here all right is it down, down. 
at that. A couple of little air bubbles there guys. Okay, so we'll shut that off. See a couple of little bubbles came out then, so we'll do one more and then we'll go to the other side. Okay, give it a two pumps bro. Two pumps and holding it? Yep. Oh, we'll see that guy's heaps of air. That was the one. Look at that. Air bubbles galore. Okay, we've got to keep going. Okay, it's locked. Let it back up. I'll do that again. Yep. Yeah, yeah that, the air's coming out, bro. Okay, ready? Release it. It's down. Yep, heaps of air came out. Look at that, guys. Also, guys, a little tip here. When you're doing this, make sure you're fully pressing it all the way. It's important, too. Yeah, right, right, right to the floor and holding right it right at the floor. You need a good strong leg. And then you hold it right at the floor until it's locked back up again. Well, it's yep, it's locked. It's locked. Okay, slowly releasing it now, slowing down. Yep. You actually slow down towards the end of the process. Okay, we'll go one more slow one. Yep. Okay, Hilton's cracked. Yep, it's cracked. Yep. No, a bit of air actually. Okay, we'll go a few more. Okay, I'm gonna have to empty this container now, so give me a second guys, I'll go and grab an empty brake fluid, we'll bore that out. Alright guys, so when you fill that up, you can just unscrew it off the bottom here quite easy, leaving the magnet attached, take that bottom piece off, empty it into a bottle with a lid because it's contaminated, and we'll start going again. Okay, you ready bro? Oh sorry. Did we top up the master in the car? How's that? It was awesome. Just had a bad chat with the uh, local postie. Yeah, awesome. our buddy over here. Cool awesome. as. Gave him some stickers. Really cool guy. All right, so we've got a fair bit there. I reckon we can finish his cylinder. Yep. I'll get ready for you to cool out. Okay, bro. Give it a pump to the floor. Yep. Yep. There was a little tiny air bubble, but it was pretty good. Okay, let it go. Do the do the double pump and we'll call this the last one. Yeah, it's firm. Pretty sure it's good, yep. It's firm, it's a lot of the yep, holding it. Yeah, no way then that time guys, that's it, she's done. Nip that back up nice and tight. Pull this off of here. Nip it up. Now the little tip for this guys is if you pick it up like that, it will just run down into the container, you don't make a mess. Alrighty, man the magnet is very weak on that one, I'm not happy with that. The old one I've got inside is way better. All right, we'll move over to the next side, guys. Another tip too, guys, when you're pressing the pedal, just press it like just what you need. Don't be like slamming it because you'll blow the hose off and you'll blow the fluid everywhere. Yeah, you make a big if mess. If you're working on it like an XYGD HO or something like that, you, you want to We don't really need to show the <laughs> yeah. other wheel, guys. We're going to skip it's that. It's the same process repeated. We'll show the last wheel on the front because the camera's getting a bit flat. All right, guys, what we're going to do now is we're going to just check in between. After you've bled one brake cylinder, you should check the reservoir see this these have popped out so you've got to push them back in guys top the reservoir back up you do not want to let that run out if that runs out guys it failed you've got to do the whole thing again so you do not want to let that run out give it a bit of a top up just want to keep it you can go a little bit more because we know we've got a little bit of bleeding to do so you can actually overfill it to about there right to the max Put the top back on carefully. If you don't put the top on, you can. The fluid can actually come back out the top. Like if you left it like that and attempted to bleed, it could spurt out. So you always put the top back on. Make sure they're depressed and back in. If this one's actually a little bit weird, I'll just fix it up. There we go. Make sure that's like the guys, that's how it's meant to be reset. And then actually it's like a vacuum. It's like a uh, membrane. It's like a full it, seal. The membrane ca carries and follows it. Otherwise it'll um, let's, let's air in there. So it's a design. Pop out, you pop it back in when you refill it. Keep it back on. That's it. Alright, let's bleed the last one. Alright, do you want to grab this camera and I'll rip this wheel off? Oh, obviously, you got this last wheel off. Right, that should have been done bloody 10 minutes ago. What are you doing, buddy? Mucking around with that. What are you doing, mate? It's time for these jobs. These jobs should have been done bloody. The job should have been done by now, guys. We're actually, we're now what we're doing is just racking our eyes, basically. <laughs> Yep, we should have been off by now. All right, guys, I'm kind of catching up to where we should be. Ah. All right, guys, ten. Yep. Give it a crack first, guys. You want to use a rubber mullet, or you can bang it with your um, the palm of your hand, just to crack it, guys. Just get it to that point of where you never want to go to just muscle it. You can shear it off. You always want to there impact it. Yep. Okay. Bit of shame about the magnet, but. Hey, it is what it is. The last one he got the magnet was 
these three times stronger. You want to get a good, nice sealing rubber hose like that that will bulge on so that it doesn't pop off. Ready, bro? Yep, is it down? It's down. Okay, that's a nice solid one for straight away. Oh, shut it. It's shut. Okay. Yep. Bit of dirt coming out. Yep, okay, yep, it's nipped. Yep, that's nice, bro. Nipped. Yep, nipped, yep. Okay, all the way back up slowly. We'll just do a slow one, letting it out. Yep. Track it. Is it down? Track, yep, down, down. Yep. yep. No bubbles. I think she's done. There it is. Looking pretty good. That will need to be done soon. Alrighty. So every time you're doing a job like this, guys, just check everything out. Eh? Have a good look around the car, everything, you know, you're not just the bolts there. tunnel vision. Have a look at the lines, that's dry. That line at the back, nice and dry. Beautiful. This that one at the front here. Yeah, the money Brake right. switch is on. Look at it from back here. It's new. Look at it, brand new. Perfect. I actually overfilled it because I knew it would take a little bit down and now it's ended up perfect. Perfect. Yep. Awesome. One, Last thing to do now, two. guys, is get it out and test the brakes to make sure that everything's working. How do you test the brakes, bro? Got to actually get it out driving, bro, so no, you're let's go to for a little cruise. Slow down, eh? Got it already tested, yeah. Yeah, I tested it out. It's like good. Alright, guys, let's get the job's done. Let's take her out for a quick test drive and see how she goes. Look at that, guys. I know how she goes. We know she goes good. We want to see how she stops. See how she stops. What they say, it's not the speeding that kills you. It's not the speeding that kills you, bro. It's the sun. That's the best I've ever felt in this youth, bro. 